Now that we have the horizon line and the shoreline, now we can calculate the distance, the correct distance between waves. Well, look how easy it is. Let's say this from the horizon to the shoreline, this is a unit of two. One, two. So I will take from the horizon, one, two, we need 1.6. So one, one and a half, 1.6. You don't need to be exactly, it's not calculated, but it's more or less 1.6 here. This is, this will be the first wave. Now, now we will take this distance from here to the, to this wave. So let's say once again, it's two unit of two, one, two, one, two. So one, one and a half, 1.6. So the next wave will be here. And we know that waves in the sea, you will never see one wave that looks exactly like the other. So we need to be a little bit random, but the distance will always be 1.6. Now we have this distance from here to here. One, two, one, one and a half, 1.6. So the next one will be here. I'm just marking like here, okay? Now we have from here to here, one, two, one, one and a half, 1.6. And you start, you are starting to see how each wave looks smaller and smaller, of course, because we are looking at a distance. We are reaching the horizon. So here it's big, then it's smaller, smaller, narrower, smaller, and so on. But this is, always remember the number 1.6. Two, one, two, one, one and a half, one point six. Here. This is the magic number in nature. One, one, two, one, one and a half, one point six. A little bit more than one and a half. This is exactly what we want to reach. One. One, two, one, one and a half, one point six. So here you can see that we are reaching the limit of our calculations because it's it, everything becomes so small. So I don't need to keep doing this. I can now start just making some lines here or with the brush later. And then we reach the horizon, everything becomes small and small and, you know, a mess. So, I will keep working on the painting and you will see the result.